Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for coming and watching. So I have a review for you guys today on the MUA's Pro Base Prime and Concealer. It's this yellow. Yes, it's very, very yellow. I know, I when I first saw it, I was like, oh my goodness, that is so yellow. How am I ever going to use this? Is it going to like blend in really well? So I had lots of questions and really wanted to know for myself if it was going to work and if it was, if the yellow, like how crazy it is, yellow. <laughs> Even my sister-in-law was like, oh my goodness, that's so yellow. And I was like, I know, but like my videos, remember to like these videos and subscribe to my channel. My name is Ashley. If you're new to my channel, thank you so much for coming and watching. And I hope this is a helpful video for you guys. So I'm gonna get started. It is a newer product to MUA. I've had it for probably about five weeks now. I'm pretty sure at least four weeks for sure, but I think it's five weeks now. I've had it for some time now, actually. And I can say that this writing here, the Pro Base Prime Concealer writing, is definitely fading on the top. So I'm starting with packaging. And I do kind of like that it's black and has like a clear lid so I can see, I can always see what it is. I be able to, I like that I can see what the product is and I like that it is a yellow color so that it, you know, for redness, this is awesome. I'm going to say that right now. I'm all over the place, I know. But packaging, there is a letdown for this product. The packaging lets it down, okay? Um, other than it looking a little bit cheap, this part, like I have to be so careful. This part has come off so many times. It's so easy to take off. Like it, it's, it's nice in a way if you did want to take it off that it can come off. But the fact that it comes off so easy, like there's nothing, like my daughter and son who are young could take that off no problem and get into this product. Now I don't want a product to be like I'm struggling to open it. I like that it, you know, it clicks close and it opens easily, but you know, I love that sound. I love that click sound. But the packaging does kind of let it down because I'll be kind of like opening it to use it and my finger slides in because the lid comes off or something. So the, you know, the packaging kind of lets it down, but I'm only paying a pound 50 for this. This is like just under two euro for this product. And it's the product inside that I care the most about. The packaging, you know, is awesome. It's a bonus if it's really awesome. And it's sad that this packaging kind of lets it down a little bit, but it says that it's a zap away dark circles and signs of fatigue with this with this super creamy, super zingy, illuminating eye concealer. The subtle yellow tone also corrects redness, making it the perfect primer and longer lasting makeup and bright, brighter eyes. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> I keep messing my words up, sorry. Um, so I'm gonna start with, I used it under my eyes, not today. I used it under my eyes the first time that I used this and I don't have super dark circles under my eyes, so I can't do, like, say 100% if you have really dark circles what it's going to do, but for me, I have, like, you know, it, I have, like, the darkness kind of right here, especially if I get really, like, no sleep at all. Me, I need my eight hours of beauty rest. So this didn't really work for under my eyes. I didn't feel like it made my eyes brighter. I didn't feel like it hided the circles that well. But I do like to use it under my eyes just to kind of, as like a primer, I guess, and then uh, put powders, like a, a different, a lighter concealer over top, and I, I feel like that works okay. But for that purpose, no, I don't, I wouldn't recommend it for the dark circles. That's my opinion. Remember, this is just my opinion, ladies. But for redness, heck yes, girls, heck yes. This is an awesome product for my redness on my cheeks. Now I have quite a lot of redness on my cheeks and it takes quite a bit to hide it most of the time. And I'm finding like concealers, if they're like medium coverage can kind of do it, but I almost need like a head, like my cheeks are so red, like especially after a shower. If I have a shower the, ne the whole day, my cheeks are really red and you know, even like a redness of the zit kind of, it helps with that as well. So I really, really recommend this for the price. It's not like the best um, priming concealer. It's not the best concealer. It's not a great, great primer or anything, but it definitely primes and conceals my cheeks for the redness. So if you have like um, 
a redness on your cheeks this goes on really really nice and you kind of just pat it in and then you know put your foundation on or opposite put your foundation on put this over top and then can I like to put this under my foundation to be honest because it has that yellow tone and then let my foundation kind of set it and then put a little bit of powder just like on those areas to make sure it sets and it stays and I really really like this product it works for me I do not have oily skin so I cannot tell you for oily skin how it works I get a little oily around my nose and I do place it there and I don't find it gets like um, I don't find it like slides off or anything like that I and this is really really like they said here too it says super creamy definitely definitely super creamy this product is so creamy I'm gonna give you a quick swatch so you can like put your finger oh it's like butter like that's how yeah it feels like butter and there it is there and then if you put it on you know it looks like that and then you can blend it out and it goes like right into my skin so it doesn't like keep a really really yellow tone to it and that's just a light light swatch but it is so creamy and um I really like this. So if you can get your hands on the Pro Base Priming Concealer from MUA for a pound fifty, you know, even when they have sales, you can get them for even cheaper if you just want to try it because you're unsure. You know, wait for that then. But it is definitely worth it for how, you know, and you don't get, I keep going all over the place, but something comes into my mind, I have to say it. Uh, you get 3.4 grams of product in the year, so it's a decent amount. So I like it and I'm definitely going to be picking up a, another one. So thank you so much for watching. I hope this was helpful, not too long. If you have any other questions about this product that maybe I kind of forgot about or didn't answer for you, please leave them down below and I do my best to talk to all of you as much as I can. And also, please remember to like this video, thumbs it up, please. And also subscribe because I'm trying to get to 500 subscribers to do a giveaway. So help me out. Thank you. Have a good day. Bye.